Hi everybody, it is April and I am in my craft room and today we're going to finish a panel quilt. And this is the panel. I am using a panel pattern from Villa Rosa. Let me show you. Now, I don't know if you noticed, this isn't your typical Villa Rosa looking pattern. This is a typical looking Villa Rosa pattern. I did not know that you could buy these patterns online and print them yourself. So you don't even have to go to a quilt shop, especially if you don't have one nearby or your quilt shop doesn't carry these patterns you can print them out yourself. And I will leave a link below in order for you to do that. You can also join a monthly club where you get five of these a month. If you're not familiar with Villa Rosa patterns, it looks like this. How hard could this be? Not that they are all easy, but if the only instructions you need fit on a postcard, surely you cannot go wrong. So I went through and purchased very inexpensively all kinds of patterns that I liked that I could print out myself. This being one of them. It is called Quilter's Palette and it features a panel in the center with a really cool design on the outside. Last fall I went on a retreat and I cut out all my squares, it is fat quarter friendly, in case you were wondering, these and these. So I had just about all of my cutting done. And then I just threw it in a box and laid it to the side. I'm gonna get her done. What I need to do now is I need to get my background cut. And I have my background here, let me show you the actual fabric, and this is by Benertex. So I wanna get my background cut, I'm going to put my blocks together, and I'm going to finish this quilt. I also need my frame, and this is the pattern that I picked out for the frame. It says Vincent Van Gogh, and it is by Robert Kaufman. Now I'm not going to cut my frame out until I get the other side and top pieces done because my panel is pretty thin and this calls for a panel measuring 28 and a half by 40 and a half. Huh, sounds like it might work. So let me get my background cut and we will I can't stop saying get her done. We will uh, work on this quilt. We're, we're gonna get her done. I've cut my strips. So I have my bigger blocks, my medium blocks, and then I have these four little blocks which are going to be used on the corner. Don't cut these out like I did first. Wait until you're done because I had some fabric left over that I could have cut out my four squares with and I cut them out early so then I actually had to cut another block in order to get the right number of big blocks. It looks like all of our side blocks are the same. So these are for corners. So I'm going to take one of my regular squares. I'm going to put a medium block on one side, a larger block on the other, and so. And I'm going to do that with all of these blocks. Sounds pretty simple, huh? Take all these blocks to the sewing machine, get them done. So here I have taken the pieces 
that I sewed together. So these are the blocks. And what you do is you just rotate. So here, the skinny side is on towards the panel. And then on the next one, the bigger side is towards the panel. And after I put this on the design wall, now I'm getting really excited about it because you can kind of see how it's gonna come together. I did not leave space here, but I am going to put a border. This panel is not as wide as what the pattern calls for. So I think I'm going to have to make my border wider than the panel calls for so that the number of these blocks that I need is correct. So I'm gonna have to do a little quilt math. Hopefully it won't be too hard, but I also need to do my corner pieces. The corners are a little tricky. So you've got a bigger square here. You've got some, not quite, they're a little more than half squares here. You've got some strips here, your two by two pieces here. And then this block looks like it's behind that block in the corner. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to sew these two pieces together. Now these two pieces are together, so I'm going to attach this to that piece. Now this is together, I'm going to attach the solid block. Now half of our corner is done. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to attach it to this piece. Here is this piece. And now I'm going to put this piece here and this piece here. Here is the second half of the corner block. And now I'll sew the two halves together. And here is our corner block. My quilt top is complete. I am ready for the sunflowers to start blooming right now. I ended up putting this black border around the yellow because I didn't make the panel wide enough. So the size panel that the quilter's palette called for was wider than this panel. So I added the yellow and my quilting math was not right. So I went ahead and added just a little black border. I am so glad I did. I love how that black border frames it. And then all the pieces around fit pretty perfectly. I had to futz around a little bit and I had two of these left over. It is not hard to adjust this pattern to go along with a panel that might not be quite the same size. And just the tumbling blocks on either side, it focuses on the fabric that is goes along with the collection. I, that's great. And this is way longer than what the pattern called for. I keep stepping on it, as a matter of fact. For somebody tall, this is perfect. So, love it, love it. Check out Villa Rosa Designs Patterns. Quilter's Palette is this pattern. Have a great day, eat some chocolate, and be kind to everyone. Until next time, bye. It's a beautiful sun <laughs> a panel pattern. Not that none of them, not that none of them, hmm, that doesn't sound right.